Welcome back to The Art of Natural Beauty, episode number 11. Hey guys, welcome back to The Art of Natural Beauty. Good to see all of you and good to be back in the studio. I uh, just got back from my UP trip. As most of you know, I was gone from October 16th until the 20th. I was supposed to come back on the 21st and I opted to come back a day early, uh, but I think I covered everything I needed to cover when I was out there and certainly uh, exposed a lot of film. I exposed three rolls of 120 and three sheets of four by five. So uh, I feel pretty good about the compositions and about uh, the subject matter. We had incredible weather up there. It was uh, mostly sunny and uh, warmer temperatures, anywhere from uh, 57 degrees into the 60s. And for you know late October up in the Keweenaw Peninsula in the UP, that's pretty awesome. And in fact, on the way home, when I was driving back uh, through Marquette on the 20th, it was 75 degrees rolling through Marquette when I stopped over at the co-op to grab lunch. So pretty amazing weather for this time of year. But uh, anyway, I'm here back in the studio and uh, today I'm just kind of doing some housekeeping, kind of checking in with you guys, letting you know a little bit about the trip and how that went. Um, and uh, I've shot uh, quite a bit of video while I was out on that trip. I managed to fill up uh, two 64 gig SD cards and two 32 gig SD cards worth of video, as well as a 64 gig micro SD card. So lots of editing for me to do. I got to get busy on that. And um, it's part of a new series that I'm putting together for the channel. It kind of ties into uh, some of the video journals and vlogs I've done in the past on some of my trips when I was up in the Porcupine Mountains and uh, a couple other little trips I did. But uh, I'm going to try to do these a little bit more seriously and kind of up the production value. And uh, so I was kind of thinking of a title because it's not it's it's a part of the art of natural beauty, but the art of natural beauty is really kind of like this this form of sitting in the studio in this this vlog form here. And what I figured I would title these, since it's more of an adventure series, is the X-Venture series. So this uh, series is going to be rolling out is going to be the X-Venture series, the Keweenaw Peninsula. So look for that. Uh, there'll be probably four episodes of that. I'm going to probably edit it down into four episodes of the trip up there, um, you know, the day I leave on the 16th all the way through the 20th, the day when I was headed home. So anyway, got to get busy on that. Got a lot of editing to do, but uh, looking forward to that because that's always fun to see how that's going to turn out. Um, and today um, I am supposed to announce the winner of the contest. So the contest was for uh, this... Uh, pack of lock sack zip lock type diving waterproof bags that were waterproof up to 60 meters or 200 feet and uh, you know protection from water humidity sand and snow it's a variety pack of four and again I use these for my film to keep my film dry but you can put your, your cell phones in there there's all kinds of things you can do with these and they make various sizes but this was just one of the variety packs right here so let's announce the winner for that so I got my trusty hat here and I've got all these folded entries in here. I'll shake them up a little bit and we'll make a drawing. And let's see who we get. And the winner is nobody. What? Oh, that's right. Nobody actually entered for the contest. Guys. If you want to enter to win the contest, you got to be in it to win it. Uh, so I don't know. I was I was kind of surprised. I, I saw that there were plenty of views on the video and uh, that I announced the, the contest in, but uh, nobody entered the contest. Uh, all you had to do was go over to my website and in the contact section, just enter your name, your email address, and in the subject you were supposed to put in Locksat contest and then give me your address and I was going to draw the winner today and ship it out. But since nobody entered, I guess I'm keeping the lock sack bags uh, until next time. So I don't know, kind of disappointed nobody entered into the contest. Um, you know, I know this channel is still somewhat new, but 
there's, you know, 350 ish, 360 subscribers. And I noticed there was, you know, quite a bit of views on the video. So I know somebody saw it, but, um, I don't know, I'm not sure. Um, let me know if this is something, you know, that you guys are interested in uh, doing these kind of contests where you can enter to win things. I, I know it wasn't a camera, you know, or anything crazy like that or a microphone, but these are pretty cool bags. Um, but, yeah, it's free stuff. So, I don't know. Let me know, you know, again, if, you know, in the comments below, if, if this kind of engagement's cool, if you think I should run more contests in the future. Um, but I'll probably wait a little while before I do another one since this one didn't really work out so well. So, anyway... Um, another thing I got in the mail today, some of these, ordered a couple of these, and uh, so let's open it up and see what it is. So there it is, YouTube stickers. So I ordered three of these, and uh, you probably don't know this about me yet, but I'm a little bit of a sticker junkie, and the back of my truck is covered in stickers. So I ordered three of these YouTube stickers here, one for the back of my truck, one for my Pelican for traveling, and then maybe one for my, my MacBook Pro. And, um, you know, part of the reason I did that is because I'm a huge fan of YouTube, and obviously I'm on YouTube, and I have a channel here. Uh, but I'm, you know, I'm really interested in behind the, the community of YouTube. I think it's a great community. I think it's a great platform for self uh, producing artists like myself and others to get out there to get noticed and and interact in a community with other like-minded individuals that are interested in the same things as we are. So I'm, I'm a supporter of YouTube. I'm behind it and I'm you know hoping uh, to build uh, a future and, and hoping YouTube can kind of help fulfill, fulfill some of my hopes and dreams and aspirations and goals going forward. So I'm going to kind of advertise YouTube on my truck and on my computer and other places like that. Just kind of get behind it. So let's go put this on the truck right now. Come on. All right, so here we are in the garage. Got the sticker right here. Just got to find a place to put it. Kind of running out of room as you can see. But I think right up here will work pretty nice. So here's the sticker. Let's put her on. All right, I think that looks pretty good. You know, you can tell a lot about a person from the stickers on their vehicle. Probably get a pretty good idea from my musical taste and my political persuasion from looking at this. But we won't get any of that now. Let's head back upstairs. Okay. All right. Excited about that. I've got two more of those. I'm going to put one on my Pelican and on my MacBook Pro, as I said. But I'll, I'll do that later on. So... Um, I don't know, a little bit of history with YouTube. Um, I started this channel, I think in 2012 is when I started this channel. But it's not my first channel. I opened one up, I think, in 2003 when YouTube was still kind of in its infancy. And uh, the reason I did that was I had some videos that I produced when I was in high school in my radio and television course. And I wanted to get them from tape because they were on SVHS tape and get them in a digital format and then kind of get them uploaded and have a place for them to live to preserve them going forward. So the first two videos I uploaded was one that was a 20 minute black and white spy movie that I wrote the script for and the screenplay. And then I, I starred in it along with my friend Rudy Tesmer from high school and worked with a couple other guys uh, to help us shoot it and produce and edit it. And uh, it came out pretty good. It was, uh, I mean, for high school students, it was, it was fun. It was kind of like a, you know, a spy versus spy, you know, kind of deal. So that was one of the first ones I uploaded. I had to cut it in two and upload it in two sections because at the time there were limitations on the, the length of a video you could upload. 
And then one was a skateboarding video that we produced, Rudy and I as well, and it was titled Skate Spots of Wayne County. And both of those segments ran on the Livonia Public Access TV. So that was like big time for us, right? I mean, that was like, wow, I'm on public access. All my friends can watch, you know, my, my video. How cool are we? So that was kind of my first venture into YouTube. But again, got into it in 2012 because of what I was seeing some other folks doing and because I didn't see a, a lot of large format information out there. So kind of began with some little tutorials and the, the photo journal trips and that kind of stuff. And it's evolving and hopefully will continue to evolve, but I'm having fun with it. I hope you guys like what I'm doing and, you know, let me know. Uh, drop some comments in there. Let me know if, if you like the content, you like what we're doing. Um, but anyway, that's enough of YouTube. So the uh, X Venture series, again, as I mentioned, it's going to be kind of a new series um, that's going to be hosted on this channel, but just in another playlist and under a different topic, topic because it, it is related to the art of natural beauty. Uh, but it is more of a, an adventure series and I'm generation X and, you know, everything was X games and, and X this and that when, you know, I was kind of growing up. So I figured X ventures would be kind of a cool fitting name for it. And, uh, so yeah, looking forward to getting those four or so videos produced and get them out to you. So look for those coming out, you know, in the, in the coming weeks, uh, probably be, I would say probably, you know, at least two weeks before the first one comes out. I'm getting ready to head off to Las Vegas uh, on Thursday, the 26th. And I'll be in Las Vegas from the 26th of October until this, uh, till November 6th. And I'm going there to do the SEMA program, which is a automotive uh, kind of aftermarket program uh, there in, in Las Vegas. So that should be fun. Um, again, I, I don't do this for a living, although I'm strived to and continuing to work to to build up, uh, you know, this this brand and this channel and my photography. But I'm in the business that is referred to as uh, corporate rental staging, and I've explained this before, and I'll explain it in the X Venture series as well as I get a little bit more personal on some of my you know personal life aspects, but. It is um, corporate meetings, events, and trade shows for you know, corporations. Um, and so this is automotive related. And um, the auto show really is my primary source of income. I'll go out and I'll do the four major auto shows, which are LA, Detroit, Chicago, and New York. And I'll go out and I'll do those uh, starting uh, November 17th. And that really, that, those four shows carry me through from November, mid-November until uh, to mid-April. So it keeps me pretty busy. So with that and being on the road, I'm not going to be here in the studio uh, being able to produce a regular series for The Art of Natural Beauty. So one of my plan and thoughts is to take a smaller rig out with me on the road that I can work from my hotel room and, and kind of keep doing the segment, but just a little bit smaller, more intimate uh, travel package to do the show. And again, I want to try to keep this up. I want to do something weekly at least, but um, we'll see, you know, what time will allow for with my workload. And the other thought I had was doing a little bit of what I just mentioned, but also maybe introducing some of you guys to the business that I do, setting up auto shows, building LED walls, uh, flying audio systems, um, you know, putting displays together, uh, video, build, building, you know, video production and that type of stuff for corporate meetings and events. Because I, I don't think there's a lot of that out there that people are aware of what it is. And I mean, people, you know, my, my own family isn't quite, you know, sure all the things that I do. They just know that I go out to all these crazy places and they think it's, oh, you get to go to California or you get to go, you know, to Texas or Florida. Oh, that's awesome. And it sounds great and all the travel, but most of the time you're in a dark, dingy ballroom or a trade show, a, a, a trade floor of a, a of a um, of a, a hall somewhere. So um, it's not as romantic romantic as it sounds, but uh, you know it could be a lot worse. And you know I've been doing it for a long time, so you know. 
But anyway, I thought that might be something that maybe you guys would be interested in seeing how that does. So I'm kind of toying with the idea of doing a little bit of a, a vlog on that as well. So if you think that's something that might be interesting to you guys, seeing the technology behind putting together corporate shows and, and an auto show and a trade show, the LED walls, the audio systems, all the things that go into it and the characters that I run into and work with while I'm out at these various uh, venues and let me know, you know, put that in the uh, comments as well. So, you know, say, hey, that sounds kind of cool, neat idea, or maybe, you know, stick with your branding and, and don't, you know, lead, but don't betray the audience. The audience is here for photography and film. I don't know. It's just a, a way I wanted to keep something rolling. So, um, that's kind of it for this episode. It, again, it was really just kind of to check in with you guys and to, uh, not announce a winner to the contest and, and to let you know that these uh, X Venture series Q and I will be coming out in the coming weeks ahead. Um, so I guess I'm going to kind of end it, but before I do one more plug for me, what, why not? Um, I know you're probably getting tired of hearing it, but, uh, I have a photo book available. It's my first photo book and it's uh, a 24 page full color lay flat photo book comprised of 13 of my best images that have been compiled over the past four years on either 4x5 film or 120, but this book is mostly 4x5. And um, it is available for sale over at my website at jasonrobertjones.com forward slash the books. So if you're interested in picking one up there, you can head over there and check out all the details about the book. Uh, I've sold um, about four copies so far. And uh, you know, just just thankful that uh, some of you are interested in in doing that, and and that you're getting behind me and I, and and rallying behind me in my efforts to try to build this brand and this this uh, this venture that I'm on with my photography and the storytelling of it. So um, it means a lot to me. Um, but if you're interested in picking it up, you can head over there and check it out. Um, it is two hundred dollars. I know that sounds kind of pricey. Uh, it costs about uh, $87 to produce this book. And then I have to buy the shipping material, the boxes, the bubble wrap uh, in bulk. I had to buy all that. And of course, I have to ship it out to you. So whatever's left, I'm trying to put back into the till so I can continue to up the production value of this channel, do other things, and try to grow my photography business as well. Uh, one of my goals is to purchase an art show tent, and I want to start doing some art festivals and take you guys along for the ride. And if you're interested in seeing what art festivals are like and what that life is like and trying to sell your work at art festivals, uh, I think it'd be, you know, a, a great uh, a great experience to share with you. And I'm also going to be working on getting my stuff in some local galleries around the Leelanau Peninsula here where I live. I've got a portfolio that's been printed out. It's been printed out for six months now. Um, and I've kind of gone through that with you in the past about how I've printed all these uh, eight by tens and I have them matted in 11 half by 14 with a half inch window and I've got a display box all set up uh, that I want to take that around and show galleries as a way to show them my work in a physical form that they can hold and look at. Uh, here, let me grab it real quick. I'll just show you. Okay, so this is the box. I ordered this through, I believe, B&H. It's a real nice box. And it'll open up like this and it lays flat. And all of the prints are inside here. As you can kind of see, they're gonna slide and fall out. But I've got them all matted inside here. Um, and there, again, there's about 13 of them in here. So this is a great little way you can hold quite a few prints in here when they're matted, you're going to lose, uh, some space obviously for that, but this is a great way to take around and present your work to, uh, potential customers, uh, clients, galleries, or offer prints for sale, uh, in this, in this form as well. This could be something that, uh, Certainly patrons and collectors would, would love to have as, uh, you know, a collection of, you know, say your uh, 2017 images or whatever, nicely mounted in, in a form in a box like this that they can just 
hold and feel and look at and, and keep in a nice collection if they don't want to mount them on the wall. So I'll do a, a little um, episode, I guess, on this too, about how I found this you know, display case, why I decided to go this way and uh, the materials and everything involved in this and, and some of the vendors I use for this. But uh, anyway, that's, that's that piece. So um, I think I've addressed everything I intended to talk about today. Uh, we put a sticker on the truck, which was cool. Um, so yeah, I guess that's it. I'm going to kind of close it up now. So uh, thanks again for watching. Thank you for all your support. Please, please get involved with some comments. Let me know how I'm doing. If you like the show, what's going on. If you want to see more contests in the future, um, I don't know. But um, glad to see that, that uh, more of you are joining, uh, subscribing, and uh, that there's some interaction uh, with you guys in, in these videos I'm making. So uh, if you like the stuff, share it with your friends. You know, get, get more people to subscribe and, and please uh, get involved. Let's, let's have an open dialogue. Let's communicate. Uh, I'm doing this, you know, to, to reach out and, and have a community with, with you guys. So. Um, and I appreciate everything. I appreciate all the views. I appreciate uh, all the subscribers and, and any of the insights. And I, I enjoy chatting with you guys through the comments. So lots of fun. But anyway, I'm going to wrap it up for today. Um, and again, um, it's going to be a little bit infrequent going forward with, with some of these posts as I try to adjust and balance to my real busy, uh, my busy season coming up really at my doorstep here. So... But um, anyway, until next time, enjoy the art of natural beauty. If you like the content of this channel or my large and medium format landscape photography and would like to help contribute to my endeavors, you can do so by heading over to jasonrobertjones.com forward slash patron and then clicking on the link. Or you can simply click on the Patreon link in the banner above on this channel. As always, thank you for your support and enjoy the art of natural beauty.